I present to you the theory of neural mathematical, uh, what's the word for inspiration? Neural mathematical, whatever, okay, okay, check this out, check this out, okay. Let's say you have an idea, okay? You want to figure out one of the most difficult, intricate patterns in mathematics, and it doesn't just take, you know, the traditional summing of numbers or anything like that. All it takes is, I mean, not all it takes, it takes looking at a number, looking at all the numbers that could possibly have a relationship to that number, all the possible patterns that could exist in the world, all the possible, very, very many, many possible ways of patterns to exist. For example, look at the, um, this is the, we're going to just talk about complexity for a second, okay? Look at this, okay? Vitamin D3. Prescribed, I think, kind of. We have this. How many dimensions does this have? Wait, you always hear about that. Dimension. Uh, how many dimensions does this, this, like, what does that mean? Why is there three spatial dimensions? What, why does it, why is it this way, this way, and, and this way? Why does that make sense? Why not this way? Why not this way? Why not the curve? Do you know? Why, why is it? So let's just look at something simple for a second. We're not going to talk about spatial dimensions because those are a little confusing. Well, we will, but so I'm a liar. So let's say we have, do I have this card and this thing? And this thing, okay? Over here, you can go this way and go that way, but there's no depth. You can't go, you can only go this way and this way. While over here, you can go that exact same thing, but you can also go that way and that way. Over here, you can go this way, this way, that way, that way, bottom up, whatever. That's how spatial dimensions work. This has color. I could change the color. You know, I could scribble in. I just changed it. That's another data point. If we were going to write that down, you know, like let's say this was one, uh, let's say we're here. This is one comma five comma one, you know, that that would be the, the X, Y, Z coordinate. But, you know, at the end, I just put blue. That's another dimension. Okay. So you start thinking, what are all the ways that anything can be different about something? Anyway, so you think about numbers. You think of the most difficult, intricate thing you could possibly think of. How one curve can intersect into another and get knotted and get something. It gets crazy. You're thinking really hard. You think so hard that you question if you have to breathe. I'll expand on this tomorrow.